Hello, Kate. I need to ask you something. Are you still living in my parents' house? Hello, Mary. It's been a while. I hope that you've been doing well. Yes, both me and Kyle are still living with your parents in their house. Why are you asking me that? Did you need to talk to me about something? Oh my god! You're still there! You really are so shameless, aren't you? I'm sorry. What did you just say? Did I do something wrong? Yes, you're doing something wrong! I can't believe you're still living in my parents' house! You're so greedy. Aren't you embarrassed about it at all? You should be ashamed. I don't see why I should be ashamed. It's Kyle's parents' house after all. I am his wife, so I should be living with him. This is something that we all discussed and agreed on before me and Kyle moved on. There's no reason for me to be ashamed. You're trying to justify yourself living with my parents? You're such a terrible human being. Do you not have any morals at all? Wait, what? I really don't understand what you mean by that. Why are you being so angry with me all of a sudden? You really are dumb, aren't you? I guess I have to explain it to you step by step. I have no problem with Kyle living in that house. It's the house he grew up in, after all. I just don't see a reason why you're living there as well. You're a complete stranger to my parents. I really can't believe that you're living with them. I'm not a complete stranger to them. I am their daughter-in-law. I wasn't the one that wanted to move in with your parents in the first place. Your parents actually asked me and Kyle if we could move in with them. They're starting to get old and thought it would be better if we lived with them. Yeah, whatever. I can't believe that you're making up excuses like that. I'm not making up any excuses. What I said is the truth. Ask your parents if you don't believe me. I'm sorry, but it's very obvious that you're just making up excuses. You're just leeching off my elderly parents. I am not leeching off of them. Stop making up random assumptions. I have absolutely no intention of doing anything like that. Well, that's what it seems like to me. You're using my parents for your own benefit. I feel so sorry for them. They have to take care of both you and Kyle. They're also supporting you financially, right? I can't believe that you would do such a thing to my elderly parents. I'm not the one being taken care of at all. Both me and Kyle work full time, so we're not receiving any financial support either. Yeah, whatever. Like I'm going to believe the words that come out of your mouth. If you cause any more problems for my parents, I'm not going to be able to forgive you. I might have to finally take some action. I have absolutely no intention of causing any problems for them. I actually think I'm being very helpful. I'm the one supporting your parents. I can't believe that you're complimenting yourself. You must be a very arrogant person. Why did Kyle choose to marry a woman like you? Anyway, I've had enough of talking to you. You should enjoy your freedom while you can. Hey, Kate. Did you happen to receive any text messages from my mom or my sister Mary recently? How come? Did something happen? Apparently, Mary got a divorce from her husband. I just heard about it from Dad. Wait, what? I didn't know about that. I heard that she was planning to move in with us or something. That's never going to happen with the current situation we're in. There's no room for her either. I just wanted you to know about it just in case. Mary might try to get in contact with you about this. You can just ignore whatever she says. Thanks for letting me know about it. I definitely wouldn't advise her to move in with us right now. I guess she really doesn't know anything. Your mom would stop her from moving in, right? I hope so. I'm not 100% sure about it, though. Mom can be pretty random with the decisions that she makes. 
There's definitely no room for another person to come and live with us. I really hope that Mom makes the correct decision. Yeah, I hope so too. Mary hasn't contacted me about this yet, so I think I'll be okay. That's good to hear. Let me know if she does cause you any trouble. Will do. Thanks. Hello, Kate. I need you to do something for me. I want you to move out by the end of today. This is an order, by the way. You can't say no to it. Wait, what did you just say? You want me to move out? I want you to move out right this moment, if possible. However, I'm very kind. So I'm going to give you till tonight to move out. So you're asking me to move out of the house by tomorrow? Are you serious about it? What you're asking me to do is very unreasonable. I think I'm being very reasonable. I'm giving you plenty of time to move out. I heard that my room no longer exists in that house. You and Kyle took over my room. That was the room I grew up in. I had no idea that you were this selfish. I can't believe that you would steal my room from me. You're a thief. I'm not selfish. I think Kyle discussed this with you when we decided to move in. We have children, so Kyle's old room wasn't enough for all of us to fit in. That's why he got permission from you to use your room as well. I don't recall having that conversation at all. Stop making up random stories like that. Either way, I've decided that I'm going to move back in with my family. I'm going to need you to move out to make room for me. I'm sorry, but that's just not possible. You should have told me this a few months in advance. You better listen to what I say. You have no rights to be living in that house. I don't mind Kyle staying, though. I just want you to leave. You're the only one that I can't stand. I'm kicking you out. I can't believe you're kicking me out. Did you not think about how I would feel? Why should I think about your feelings? You're a leech that deserves to be kicked out. Kyle can stay because it's the house he grew up in. It's also our parents' house. I can also allow your and Kyle's children to stay as well. I'm going to have lots of free time, so I'll take care of them in your place. I'm sorry, but I think that you're being very selfish. Not only are you suddenly trying to move in with us, you're also trying to kick me out? I think that's very greedy of you. Your parents are never going to agree to this. Actually, they've already given me permission to do this. Wait, what? You're not serious, are you? I'm very serious. My parents are encouraging me to do this, actually. I guess they don't like you much, either. I also think that they really want me to come and live with them again. Did your mom really say this? I find it very hard to believe. I think they got tired of all the trouble you've been causing them. I can totally understand my mom's feelings. It would be so stressful living with a woman like you. She must have gotten tired of you leeching off her. You're a thief. I don't want a criminal like you living with me. That's so offensive. I can't believe you're saying that to me. Are you really sure that your mom wants me to move out? She wouldn't mind even if I left right now. Yeah, that's what she told me. It looks like nobody wants you to keep living here. I heard that you're completely useless. Let me check with you one last time. So your parents want me to move out then. Are they sure about this? Do you not listen at all? How many times do I have to tell you this? All of us want you out of the house. Is that clear? I just got divorced from my husband and don't have anywhere to go. So I'm going to move back in. You have to move out to make space for me. It's not that difficult to understand, is it? Oh my god. Thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. Why are you thanking me? I'm so confused. I'm going to do as you say right away. Me and Kyle are going to move out with our kids. We're going to find a new place where we can live as a family. Where are you not listening? 
I said that Kyle and the kids could stay. Kyle and I are married. I don't see why we should have to live apart. We had actually planned in advance just in case something like this happened. We've already got a new place ready, so we can move out right away. I guess that's fine then. I was hoping Kyle would stay behind as he's pretty useful. Oh well. I'm happy as long as you're moving out. Go ahead and take him with you. We'll get our belongings together and move out right away. I think we can be out of the house by tomorrow. Could you wait just a little while longer? Okay, fine. You better be gone by tomorrow. I don't want to live in a hotel for too long. It's so expensive. Just wait till tomorrow. It's only one more day. Just one more thing. We're not going to support any of you in the future. Don't bother asking us for help. Ask you for help? You must be joking. You are the one that needed help from my parents. They were the ones that were supporting you. Please don't cause me and my parents any more trouble in the future. That's completely fine with me. I've got to get going now. I have to pack all my belongings so that I can move out by tomorrow. A poor person like you should live a quiet and boring life. I can't believe that you are making my parents pay for all your living expenses. Hello, Kate. I need to ask you something. What is it? I can't seem to get in contact with Kyle at all. He's not replying to any of my text messages. Is he okay? Yeah, he's completely fine. We've successfully started a new phase of our life at our new house. He told me that he blocked you, by the way. That's probably why you're unable to contact him. Wait, what? Why would he block my number? He doesn't want you or your parents to cause him any more trouble. He's planning on cutting ties with his parents completely. I can totally understand why he would want to do that, though. What they did to him was so terrible and selfish. What are you talking about? What did our parents do to him? Actually, never mind. I have something that I need to ask you first. My mom is asking me to pay all the utility bills for the house. Could you pay for it instead of me? I had no idea that you guys were the ones paying the utility bills for this house. Would you guys be able to continue paying the bills? You're not serious, are you? This must be a joke. Why would we pay the utility bills for a house that we don't even live in anymore? Well, you used to pay for it, right? We were only paying the utility bill because we lived there. We don't live there anymore, so we're not going to pay it. You're the one that's going to be paying for it from now on. Your mom and dad aren't going to pay for any of the living expenses. Your dad is in huge debt, so that's where his entire salary goes every month. Your mom quit her part-time job a long time ago. Wait, what? That's not true, is it? Oh, also one more thing. The loan payments for the house need to be paid too. You're the one that's going to be paying for that as well. What are you talking about? Why do I have to pay for all that? Do you really not understand? You kept on assuming that I was the one leeching off your parents. In reality, it was actually the other way around. Your parents were the ones leeching off of me. What does that even mean? Explain everything to me. Your parents have zero spendable income. Me and Kyle were paying for absolutely everything. We even paid for all of their living expenses. Is that really true? I had no idea! We were doing your parents a huge favor. Then you come out of nowhere and try to kick me out! You didn't even try to discuss anything with us. There was no reason for us to argue with you and continue living there. Wait, hold on a minute. So, you're saying that my parents were financially dependent on you guys? They made you pay for the utility bills, loans, and their living expenses? Yes, that's correct. Me and Kyle have moved out now. That means you're the one going to be paying for everything that you just listed out. Wait, no! That's impossible for me to do! 
I just got divorced and I don't even have a job. I have no source of income. My husband is also suing me too. I need to pay him a whole bunch of money. I was planning on finding a job while living with my parents. I thought that they would pay for all my living expenses. I see. Things aren't looking too good for you then. I'm pretty sure your parents are going to be asking you to pay for everything. They're going to even ask you to pay for their living expenses. Even the living expenses? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. Wait, hold on a minute. This is not how I imagined things would be like at all. I thought that I wouldn't have to pay anything if I moved in with my parents. Well, you thought wrong then. Your parents are going to be asking you to pay for a lot of things. They're really difficult people to live with. I experienced it firsthand. I'm so happy that it's not my problem anymore. You're just going to have to find a solution by yourself. I would start by looking for a very well-paid job. Wait, I'm so sorry. Please just don't abandon me. Please come back. You guys should all move back in again. I apologize for everything that I said to you. I might have said some mean things to you. I really want to have an opportunity to live with you. I think it could be really fun to live with my sister-in-law. I'm sorry, but that's definitely not happening. I don't want to live with someone like you. You looked down on me and insulted me many times. Also, you were the one that wanted me out of the house in the first place. There's no point sucking up to me now. I know how you really feel about me. Best of luck finding a job. I haven't worked in years. I don't even know how to find a job. Please help me out. I really need your help to get out of this situation. I promise I'll do as you say. Please just move back in and pay for everything like you were doing. You just want me back for my money. Your intentions are too obvious. Please stop asking me for help. It's just embarrassing at this point. Also, don't bother contacting me ever again. Goodbye forever! I'm blocking and deleting your number completely. Kate ended up blocking Mary's phone number as well. Therefore, Mary was unable to contact both Kate and Kyle from that day. Mary was very desperate for them to move back in and try to find them so that she could talk to them face to face. She tried to find out where they had moved to, but her efforts were futile. Kate and Kyle had moved to another city where they built themselves a new house. They are currently living a very happy life. On the other hand, Mary's life was falling apart. She had squandered her previous husband's money and was getting sued for it. She also had to pay for the utility bills, loans, and her parents' living expenses. She had no choice but to start working again. Mary is really regretting the way she forced Kate out of her parents' house. Hi, honey. Good afternoon. Well, good morning. It's still morning here. How's your trip going? Not bad. What's up? How's my mom? She's sleeping. Good. Good? It's not good. Her condition is getting worse. It's becoming more than I can handle. Now you're starting to sound lazy. You've been doing great so far. Don't try to back out of it now. I've been doing it for the past 18 years of my life. I need to start looking out for myself. What are you talking about? I was going through my timeline today on Facebook, and I saw an ad for a sculpture class. I want to enroll in it. What? Why would you want to do that? What do you mean? I've always told you how much I love to sculpt. You know I am passionate about the art form. So why are you acting shocked now? Is everything okay? Why aren't you answering? I'm just speechless. How can you be so selfish, Mia? Excuse me? You just told me that my mom's getting worse, and you seriously think this is the right time to start learning how to mold clay? Jeez, are you for real? For your information, sculpting is beyond just molding clay. Besides, the class won't affect how I take care of your mother. I just need to do something I am passionate about to feel alive once again. I get it, but 
What's more important right now is my mother. Or do you want her to die? Why would you say such a horrid thing? I would never wish that on your mother. The class will be nothing but a distraction. It'll stop you from carrying out your duties. My duties? Come on, I'm the one traveling all over the world, making money. It's your job to take care of the home and my mom. So, what are you saying? Let's focus on what's important right now, and that's my mom. At least think about it, will you? Fine, I'll think about it. I need to go offline now. Talk to you later. Take care. Hi, honey. Good evening. Sweetie, how are you doing? I'm okay. Preparing for bed. And my mom? She's good. I've put her to sleep. Thank you. You're the best. Have you had time to think about what we discussed last week? I'm so sorry. I forgot. I've been swamped with work. How could you forget? How could I not? Besides, I thought we were already past this. No, we're not. The window for registration is closing, and I have to sign up before the end of the week. You can't do it, Mia. We'll take care of my mom while you're taking the class. You'll leave my sick mom alone in the house? Come on. I thought about that, and I came up with a good solution for everyone. You're not taking her to class with you, are you? What? No. That's silly. Why don't we place her in a nursing home? They are more equipped to take care of her. I can't believe this, Mia. You want me to leave my mother in the hands of strangers who only want my money? It's their job, and they will take better care of her than I ever could. No, you're just being lazy, and you want to stop taking care of my mom just so you can mold stuff. I won't accept this. You're not taking that class. Ever since we got married, all I've been doing is taking care of your mom. I've been doing it for 18 years, and you don't even care about my well-being. I gave up everything for your mother, and now that I finally want to do something for myself, you mean to stand in my way? Just hold on until a better time. Stop being selfish. You are the one being selfish. Why don't you send her to a nursing home? Do you know how much they charge? I think your mother deserves anything they charge. What's the point of working and making money if you can't take care of your mom? Why should I pay a dime to strangers to do something my wife is more capable of? You're not going to register for that class. My mind is made up. You're really going to do this to me? After everything I've done for you and your mom? You're the one doing this to yourself. Stop this delusion and focus on my mother. When I return from this trip, I'll get you something, okay? Sweetie, are you mad at me? Mia, why aren't you picking up my calls? Hi, what's with the urgency? Is everything okay? How can everything be okay? $8,000 was withdrawn from our joint account. Why? Jesus, is that why you're burning up my phone? You don't think $8,000 is a lot of money? Well, it's not enough for you to be so strung up. What did you use the money for? I placed your mom in a nursing home. I went ahead with it since you were dragging your feet. How dare you? I told you not to do it. I don't know what your end game is, but it seems I'm the only one looking out for her. She was getting worse by staying in the house, and you didn't care. Well, I took the decision out of your hands. You went against my wish, Mia. I expressly told you not to. This is all because of that sculpting class, right? Actually, the sculpting class is only a bonus. I used the money to pay for your mother's admittance into the nursing home, and the rest covered the registration fee. You really have some guts. I can't believe you used my money to do things I explicitly forbade. I did what is best for everyone. Your mom's health will significantly improve at the nursing home. Besides, you spend most of your time traveling around, so I don't expect you to understand how boring it gets staying at home all day. This is your excuse for abandoning my mother? With strangers who know nothing about her? How could you be so heartless? I won't forgive you for this. If you can do such a thing to my mother, who knows what you can do to me? I don't think you love me as much as you claim. Stefan, how could you say this? You know I love you. I'm sorry if I made you mad. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Stefan?
Mia, we need to talk. Really? You've been ignoring my calls for the past four days, and now you want to talk? Are you still attending the class? I'm just returning from today's class. Why? So you eventually did as you please even after I told you how I felt about this sculpting thing. Have you no sense of loyalty? You are the one with no sense of loyalty to the wife who has been taking care of your mother for almost two decades. You want me to remain a maid and a caregiver for the rest of my life. I deserve better than this. Fine. Do whatever you want. I'm done with this marriage. I can't be with someone who hates my mother. I want a divorce. You are kidding, right? I am dead serious. I can never trust you again. After all, you abandoned my mother. What's stopping you from leaving me too when you pick an interest in another stupid skill? This is really unfair of you, Stefan. Do you really want to throw away everything we have built over the years? I just want a divorce, Mia. Sculpt all you want. I don't care. Okay then. If this is how you feel, then I will give it to you. Mia. You can expect a call from my lawyer anytime soon. So you're really going through with this then? I've made my feelings perfectly clear. My mother is the only person I love in this world, and you failed her. Funny you should say that while I have been the one taking care of her. Do you even know what she likes to eat every morning? Have you ever made your mom so much as a cup of tea? Let's end this right here. I want nothing more to do with you. You brought all this upon yourself, and you deserve everything that's coming to you. Mia, what's this I'm hearing? What is it this time round? My lawyer told me you're asking for 50% of all I own? But why would you ask that? You mean 50% of what we own? That's my money. Those are my properties. I'm the one always flying around and working my butt off all day. All you do is sit around and you're asking for 50%? I deserve it, Stefan. The reason I never got a job was because of your mother. I was too busy taking care of her. If I had chosen to ignore her the way you do, I would be at the top of my career by now. You're lucky your mother is a sweet soul. She's the reason I stayed this long in the marriage. Lies. I'm starting to understand that you were simply after my hard-earned money. That money and those properties belong to the both of us, and nothing can change that. Fine, you can have them all. I don't need you anyway. We'll see about that. Hey, sweetie. It's been a while. Mia? Why are you messaging me? We are not meant to talk outside the court. Please, just spare a few moments. I need to say something. I'm really not interested. Goodbye. I messed up. I messed up big time. I took you for granted, and I lost you. I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me? Mia? Please say something. What do you want me to say? Curse me. Anything. I probably deserve it all. I was horrible to you, and I don't deserve to be forgiven. You got that right. But why are you in my DM? I don't care about your apologies. Since you left my life, everything has taken a turn for the worse. I used to think all you were good for was taking care of my mom, but now that I'm alone, I've realized just how much you did. You took care of the home, you made sure all the bills were paid on time and, and our debts were settled. You helped me with my work-related projects, you made life so easy for me and I threw all that away because of my stupidity. I'm so sorry. Well, I did say you would regret it. And you were right. Forgive me. Please, come back to me. Don't be silly. Come back to you? What a joke. Mia. Be honest. The only reason you're crawling back to me is because you've realized how much you need me. And how I don't need you at all. You took me for granted and showed me your true colors. I would be foolish to come back to you after that. I made a mistake. Yeah, and it cost you our marriage. I've moved on, Stefan. You should do the same. I wish your mother the best of health, but once the divorce proceedings are done, 
You and I will never have to cross paths again. But Mia, I love you. Well, I don't love you anymore. Goodbye, Stefan. Don't contact me again. Please, let's rethink this. There is nothing to rethink. I am done. Stefan tried multiple times to get back together with me, but I rejected him. I regularly visit his mother at the nursing home, and she is always glad to have me around. I also got a well-paying job in a manufacturing company, all thanks to some friends I made in the sculpting class. I feel very fulfilled and happy. Right now, I just want to be alone and do the things I love. <laughs>